I'm, I'm going to say a bunch of things that probably I shouldn't say, you know, but... And number six, the 2025 CEO performance plan to Elon Musk. The te Sixth and finally, on the 2025 CEO Performance Award to our founder and CEO, Elon Musk, with over 75% voting in favor, <laughs> approved. Uh, first of all, I'd like to just give a heartfelt thanks to uh, everyone who supported the, the shareholder votes. Uh, I super appreciate it. I mean, those bots are just dancing. They have no wires. Those are actual robots. I think it's going to be the biggest product of all time by far. Yeah. So, like, bigger than cell phones, bigger than anything. Um, I guess the way to think about it is that uh, every human on Earth is going to want to have their own personal R2-D2 C-3PO. So we're, we're going to launch on uh, the, the fastest production ramp of, of any product, of any large complex manufactured product uh, ever. Um, and starting with building a million unit production line uh, in, in, in Fremont. Um, and uh, that's, that's, that's line one. Um, and then a 10 million unit uh, per year production line here on the, <laughs> you know, people often talk about like eliminating poverty, giving everyone amazing medical care. Well, there's actually only one way to do that, and that's with Op the Optimus robot. With, with humanoid robots, you can actually give everyone amazing medical care. Uh, so, uh, it, in terms of Optimus will be more precise. Optimus will ultimately be better than the best human surgeon with a level of precision that, that isn't possible, that, that, that is beyond human. So I think that's, that's a pretty wild concept to say, okay, if you, you know, there's always, people have always talked about eliminating poverty, but actually Optimus will actually eliminate poverty. You know, when we started Tesla, the, the, the goal was to accelerate the advent of sustainable energy. And that is, uh, that's what we've done. I think Tesla has really led the way in with, with electric vehicles, with battery packs, uh, with a lot of solar. And uh, many other companies have, have then followed our lead and done that. And electric cars, which used to be uh, non-existent, are now prevalent. Um, and, uh, and, the, and the Model Y, for example, is the number one selling car of any kind on Earth. I think we may, we might, we may be able to give people a more uh, if somebody's committed crime, a more humane form of uh, containment of future crime, which is if if you if, if you say like you now get a, a, you now get a free Optimus and it's just going to follow you around and stop you from doing crime. <laughs> AI and robotics, you can actually increase the global economy by a factor of ten or maybe a hundred. Um, there's there's not like an obvious limit, uh, so. Um, like Optimus is kind of like an infinite money glitch. Uh, we're actually getting to the point where we're, we almost feel comfortable allowing people to text and drive, which is kind of the killer app. Because that, that, that's really what people want to do, and, and do do. Uh, um, and uh, actually, <laughs> right now, the, you know, the version's, you know, the car's a little uh, strict about keeping your eyes on the road. Um, and, uh, but I'm confident that in the next month or two, uh, we should, we, we, we're going to look closely at the safety statistics, but we will allow uh, you to um, text and drive, essentially. <laughs> We've got the, the first car that is specifically built for uh, uh, unsupervised full self-driving to, to be a robo-taxi. It's called a cyber cab. It doesn't even have pedals or a steering wheel. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, no, no, there's no side view mirrors. There's no uh, yeah. So it's it's and, and it's it's very much optimized to for for the lowest cost per mile in a, in an autonomous mode. 
Um, and that production is happening right here in this factory. And we'll be starting production in April next year. So we, we, we believe the uh, AI5 chip will be probably about a third of the power of, uh, say, something like a Blackwell, um, an NVIDIA Blackwell, which is a great, a great chip, um, for roughly a comparable performance. Um, and, about, and, and much less than 10% of the cost. Six. So we've got, we got two big products, or three, three massive products starting production next year. We've got Optimus, we've got uh, Tesla Semi, and we've got the CyberCap. So, um, we, we've also put a lot of investment into uh, raw materials. So um, the, uh, we, we've, we've built in, in South Texas and Corp Corpus Christi uh, the biggest lithium refinery um, outside of China, I believe. Uh, so it's, it's, gonna, it's starting off with 50 uh, gigawatt hours of, of, of lithium, uh, and we'll expand from there. Do you see a path for uh, Optimus to have consciousness uh, downloaded to it? You mean human consciousness, or? Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's not, like, uh, immediate. Um, but if you say it down the road, uh, would you be able to say with the neural link, have a snapshot of, or at least an approximate snapshot of somebody's mind, and then upload that approximate snapshot to uh, an Optimus body? I think, I think that at some point that technology becomes possible. Um, and it, 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 it's probably less than 20 years.